In this video, we're in the new house and I'm getting on with my first DIY project, a potting table for the garden. I'm gonna give a bit of a life update first, but if you're not interested in that, I won't be offended. Just skip to the timestamp on screen now. If you're not aware I've moved house, you might want to check out this video first, which will give a lot more context. It's been about six months now since we've properly moved in and bar sealing and painting some loose pebble dash and planting a hedge, I've stuck to the rule of not taking on any renovations. And that's proved a good idea as the winter has revealed this really isn't a warm house. I'm fairly certain the original house walls are solid with no cavity, so I'll likely need some insulated plasterboard on those before decorating. We've been enjoying the countryside by taking some long walks and I've got to know some of the villagers at the local badminton club, but of course that's been cancelled now. However, I do have the pleasure of introducing Arlo to complete the A-team. While I've always been more of a dog person, we weren't quite ready for the responsibility, and it turns out he's an absolute delight and an affectionate little scamp. Plus, he seems to like the garden room. Every credit. We hosted Christmas, I made a natural wreath and garlands, which I suppose counts as DIY, and it was nice to work out where we wanted our tree and make the house look festive. It very much feels like home now. We survived the January storms with only a little bit of damage to our apple tree, and I do hope all your builds got through them too. So that takes us up to the end of February. The house purchase pretty much wiped out all our savings, so we've been working on rebuilding our emergency funds. One thing I'm devoting quite a bit of thought to at the moment is where and when to direct future savings. We could pay down the mortgage, invest, and now looks like a good time to do so, or do up the house. I guess each delivers something different, security, return, or happiness, respectively. I haven't really come to any conclusions yet, rather mulling it over still, but if you have any insights on making sense of it all, do let me know. One thing we did budget for though is Mexico. This is our first holiday in quite a while and our first long haul trip together. We stayed in a place called Tulum, which happens to be the darling of Instagram at the moment. I was unaware of this however, and try to avoid crowds at the best of times, and these aren't the best of times. So each day we ventured out to find secluded beaches, cenotes and ruins. It's always great to get some winter sun, but what amazed me was the sheer abundance of wildlife there. I studied zoology at uni, so I really love this stuff. While we were there, I proposed, Abby said yes, which was the cherry on top of the trip. I bought this box from Etsy, and if you're thinking I'm a big shot, nope, <laughs> we're still sorting the real thing. I wish I had made the box myself, but there was no way I could have done it without Abby figuring it out, but hopefully I can make some wedding-related things, though that won't be for some time yet. Finally, one thing that irks me about social media is people tend to show only their highlight reels, which I realise I've just done. But since comparison is the thief of joy, I'd like to say that amongst all these ups, we've had our fair share of downs as well, and hey, maybe I'll talk about some of them one day too. So we got back safe and sound, and not a moment too soon. The lockdown has begun, and it's a surreal world we're living in. I'm concerned for my parents, and I know from the channel stats that many of you will have parents in the most at-risk age bracket, so I wish you and your families all the best in the coming weeks. However, as long as you aren't having to teach your children or the kings of England, you may find yourself a little richer in time than you were before. Not a bad time for a spot of DIY, I say. I'm keeping a close eye on which builder's merchants remain open, but I can tell you that Fascia Expert and Rubber for Roofs intend to remain open for online orders, and the discount codes remain in place, so pop me an email if you need them. So I thought I'd ease myself in for the first project, with something small and make the most of the sunshine we're having. The previous owners of the house left a lot of items, including what looked to me like a potting table. If you want to make something similar, it's made with slotted angle steel, which you can cut with a metal cutting blade or a hacksaw, and then attach together using nuts and bolts. All the holes make for very useful places to hang garden tools. Mine was very rusty though, so I gave it a once over with some steel wool to remove any flaky bits and dirt, and then sprayed it with this rust reformer, which bonds to the rust and prevents it getting worse. It works incredibly well, and it was an instant transformation. Even this heron was impressed. Now I know why there's netting on the pond. I then gave it a top coat of no-nonsense matte black spray paint. Everything I've used by this Screwfix own brand has been great both in performance and price, and this was no exception. I could then cut my boards to length. I'm using 22 by 150 mm treated boards. These tend to be used as gravel boards for fencing, but I thought they would do the job nicely. I didn't have my table saw to hand, so I had to find a width which I wouldn't have to rip down, and when in place they created a nice overhang. The lower shelf I cut to the same size as the metal frame and just had to notch out the front board on either side. Once they were all laid out, I clamped them down and attached through the frame with 19mm length flathead screws and washers from the underside so they would not be visible. 
I found the tabletops had a bit of bounce, so I attached some cross braces underneath to rectify that. Two on the top, which would get the most use, and one on the bottom shelf. I then sanded down all the corners to give a rounded over, aged look, and finished off by treating any cut ends with wood preservative. It was a pretty quick, fun project, and I'm really pleased with it. I'll probably go over it with some decking oil I have left over, but that's at the London house at the moment. The bottom of the legs have seen better days, so I could either cut these down to make the bench a little shorter, or I can attach some new slotted angle steel. I might also try to find a cover of some sort for next winter, but I'm calling this project done for the moment. Here are some shots I took for the thumbnail, and here it is in its final position. I'm always spotting something I want to dig or prune around the garden, so it's useful having everything on hand without having to go into the shed. So the idea is that we'll fill this tray with compost, and then pot up seeds or plants on this side. Now I just need to decide what to grow. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one, which will be plasterboard in the garden room. It's in edit, I've just had to work out how to explain something quite complex, but I'm there now, so it shouldn't be too much longer. Stay safe, everyone.